volunteering is um, part of the DNA of the Trust, if you like. It's been there right from the very beginning. And Octavia Hill, who was one of our three founders, used to talk about fellow workers. She didn't distinguish between paid staff and volunteers. And that's really important to the way the Trust works today. The idea is that uh, people can come in, they can sit and clean away and we'll supervise. Um, we are getting our books cleaned, but we're also other people are earning a new skill and, and getting out and involved in something else. But what we can also do is if there are any visitors that are wandering past and ask us questions and are interested, we can let them have a quick go. I'm studying history at university, so obviously conservation is, you know, an important thing for me. Like, it's a great opportunity to get involved in. I guess you feel like you're contributing to the house as well, so you, you know, you feel like you've got something special because you're being involved. Yep. Both hands. Yeah. We're at Wenlock Edge, um, 900 acres of, of mixed mixed woodland. There's 50 acres of limestone grassland. It's um, ancient semi-natural woodland. There's lots of coppice, and also there's there's two ranges to actually manage the uh, the property. I was a volunteer when I first started nearly 15 years ago, so I've sort of seen the progression from volunteer to uh, warden to ranger, and I have a small team of, of volunteers. I can just pick up the phone within an hour and they'll be out to, uh, to help me. Uh, and if we didn't have people like uh, John, we couldn't get half the work done. Well, we started with this, this log stack today, um, but otherwise we do drainage work on paths, we do fencing work, um, help out with the um, ecologist and her projects with wildlife. Anything that needs doing, we'll turn our hands to it. What I, I like the best about the, being a volunteer here is the, the wow factor. When I can show children and adults the head of a, a bee and they see the facets in the eyes and the hairy body and the... Uh, other aspects of it and they go, wow, I never knew it was like that. For a lot of us it's the social aspect, coming out and meeting people and especially meeting the visitors as well. The majority of visitors that come into the wall kitchen garden are very interested in what we're doing. We have thousands of volunteers who work with us here in the Midlands and they do a whole range of things. So they really help us in every aspect of our work and they're vital. We couldn't do what we do without volunteers.